Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the wireless HDMI dongle from Microsoft. This is the second generation and it basically lets you broadcast an image from a computer or your phone onto any device that supports HDMI and treat it like a secondary panel. Now this is a Miracast device. Miracast is a protocol for transmitting images and video over Wi-Fi. And that means that you can use it not only with Windows 10 but also Windows 8 or your Android phone or anything else that supports Miracast. Unfortunately, you cannot use it with Mac or iOS, I believe at the moment, because they are restricted to AirPlay, but most other devices you can use with this as long as your PC supports it. What I was probably most impressed with is just how easy it is to set up. There's basically no setup at all. All you have to do is to plug it into the HDMI in your TV and then the USB into the TV for power. Then you go to your Windows 8 or Windows 10 device, you go to the action panel, click connect, and then it just connects. And this is where it would show if your PC doesn't support it, so you can actually check right now, it would say your PC doesn't support Miracast. And then it just connects, it just automatically loads it up, yep, even if you're connected to Wi-Fi, it doesn't kick you off Wi-Fi. It just works. It acts like a second monitor. That means you can use it either as a mirrored display, which I have found works better in terms of reducing stutter and better performance, but that might just be my PC. But you can also use it as an extended desktop as well, just like it was a second monitor plugged in directly via HDMI. It also works on Android. All you do is go to settings, display, cast, then make sure you check the box that says enable wireless display, and then you select it and it will just show your phone. So how well does it actually work? I would actually say it's better than expected. I was doing a couple browser tests and it seems to be able to hold at least 30 frames a second consistently, spiking up sometimes to the 40s or 50s, but if you're gonna rely on something that requires higher than 30 frames a second, then it might not be the best choice. And because I found it was able to consistently hold that 30 frames a second, that means you can watch standard videos, movies, that sort of thing, without having to worry about stuttering. And it will also broadcast the audio, so it's not like you have to set it up separately. Above 30 frames a second though, it does stutter. I was trying to watch some 60 FPS YouTube videos, and it was definitely stuttering, hard to watch, so that's kind of a bummer. The quality of the video is actually pretty good. I measured it as uploading at about 12 megabits per second and you don't notice any artifacts or anything like that. Looks like great quality and it's about the same as you can expect from a 1080p YouTube video. So that's pretty good. I wish it could go higher if your computer can handle it, higher bit rate. But I guess for wireless, it's not bad. Input latency is there, but it's not a problem. You probably won't even notice it. That being said, I would definitely not recommend using this for gaming if you want to go to a monitor or something like that. I think that's a given, but the two reasons would be that input latency, even though it's not a big problem with just browsing, if you're trying to do gaming with a mouse, it's going to be an issue. Also, you're not going to get very high or above 30 frames a second, so that's going to add to latency and issues as well. Overall though, I would say this is a really cool wireless dongle. I believe it was about $50 when I bought it and probably worth it if you're going to be using it to show friends videos or you don't have to run a huge cable or anything like that. Definitely is convenient depending on what you're going to be using for. Videos, uh, images, browsing, awesome, gaming, or any reaction time sensitive things, definitely not good. So I hope you guys found this interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. If you guys want to support me through shopping on Amazon, doesn't cost you anything. I have a video here talking about my Amazon affiliate code, so you can check that out. If you want to continue watching other videos, I've got them right on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. If you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.